another video of Pierre Polyev basically explaining, you know, how the middle, the dream, the Canadian dream for the middle class has disappeared and, you know, how he wants to restore it. So let's have a look and then we'll react to it after. You know, all of you are living or contributing to, I should say contributing to, perhaps not yet living, the Canadian dream. And the Canadian dream was a promise that if you work hard, you got a powerful paycheck and pension that bought affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods. That anyone from anywhere could do anything. That was the deal. But that deal and that promise, like everything else after nine years of Justin Trudeau, is broken. Everything costs more. Work doesn't pay. You make it, he takes it. Housing costs have literally doubled so that 76% of Canadians who don't own a home believe they never will, which is insane given that we have the most land per capita of any developed country on earth. Homes should be cheap. They should be dirt cheap because we have the most dirt to build on. But somehow we have the most expensive real estate in the G7. Our real estate prices have risen, outpaced incomes by 40%, the worst gap in the G7, the second worst out of the 40 OECD nations. And now we have 10 cities in every town and city in all of our country because people can't afford to find a place to live. Rent has gone up by 100%. Mortgage payments have more than doubled. The cost of a down payment has nearly tripled, all in nine years. It's amazing to think that in the last nine years, housing costs have risen more than they had in the previous 150 years. That is how insane it is. Wow. And those homes that do exist are in dangerous neighborhoods with rising crime, car theft, extortions, and other crimes that we never heard of. And our prime minister divides our people to distract from all that he has broken. But the, he's not worth the cost. That's the bottom line. The good news is life was not like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. We're going to turn the hurt he has caused into the hope Canadians need. Our common sense plan to ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. We'll get we'll restore Canada's promise. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? I mean, you have 76% of Canadians who believe that they will never be able to buy a home. That's creating a society and a community or communities full of renters. And considering the way that rent is going up and up and up, that means 76% of people are on pace to be homeless. Now, of course, that's going to change. But one thing that Pierre Polyev uh, said in this video that really kind of struck me was he didn't just say buy or, or sorry, build homes. He's talking about building dirt cheap. He specifically mentioned dirt cheap homes. Now, that is really something like someone like me, people like me want to hear because we understand that, you know, if you just build more homes, but there are these luxury homes that are going to start off at four or five hundred thousand dollars or condos, luxury condos that are going to start off at three, four or five hundred thousand dollars. If you're a 25 year old young couple with a, you know, a young son or daughter. $400,000 condo, you don't even get a backyard? In Hamilton? That, that, that's crazy. And, you know, one thing I've been saying a lot on this channel is that we don't just need more houses, we need affordable houses. And it doesn't have to be just government-provided houses or, you know, subsidized programs from, like, government housing. What you can do is just build smaller startup family homes that you can sell for hundred or $150,000. That's really what we need, because if you're 20, 25 years old right now, or even my age, I'm 35, never buying a house. How, how, how could you afford to, <laughs> to buy a house when you look at the house prices? Like, can you even find a house in Hamilton that's under half a million dollars anymore? And if you can, it needs a lot of work. So you have to put even more money into it. It's just, it's crazy. But if you build these small, you know, two, three bedroom bungalows with, you know, reasonable sized living room and a decent sized kitchen, nothing fancy, just something so that if you're young or if you're a first time home buyer, you can get your foot in the door, get a little bit of equity, start, you know, growing your personal finances, start growing your net worth. 
thus far giving you more hope because a hundred thousand to one hundred and fifty thousand dollar home is much more achievable than five hundred thousand dollars for a shithole. Right. So you can build a ton of these things and actually give people a lot of hope. And that's you know the thing that struck me the most in this video, because I've heard him say more houses, more houses. But I don't think I've ever heard him say specifically really cheap or dirt cheap houses. And I don't mean I don't think he means dirt cheap and like they're going to be so crappy. And we're going to build them for 20 grand and use cheap materials. I don't I'm not saying they're going to do that. But what they can do or what they ought to be doing is building decent homes of good quality. Of course, they have to be inspected and they have to meet those safety standards. But build these small, smaller houses so that young families have a chance again. Young families right now are renting and they're struggling at that. Right. So it's just we really, really got to hold Pierre Polyev accountable and not just to make uh, build more houses, but to make sure that you're building a lot of cheap, affordable houses so that people actually have hope again in this society, which it seems like there's well, there's about 76 percent of people who have lost all, all kinds of hope. If you don't have hope to buy a house and have a you know and raise a family, what else are you going to have hope for? The best way for an average person to you know build their wealth is to buy and pay off their home as soon as uh, as soon as possible. If you buy a home and you can pay it off in 15, 20 years, the house will be worth a little bit more, of course, but it, it doesn't have to shoot up like crazy as long as you keep building houses. So in that 20 years, yeah, that house that you bought for 150000 is now worth, you know, two or two twenty five, dollars And then you, you make a little bit of money on your income or on your on, on the sale of your house. And then hopefully also by that time, you'll see people making more money as well, right? If, if prices keep rising and wages keep doing this with it, then it's fine. But the problem we're having right now is we're seeing stagnant wages and everything that you have to pay for, literally everything that you have to buy is going up and up and up and up. And it's not sustainable. If this were to keep happening for another five, 10 years, you would see mass homelessness. And like Pierre Paul, you have said, you're already seeing a ton of it, tent cities in every city. It's, it's really, you know, sad to see what's happened to Canada. But like Pierre Paul, you have said, hopefully, he can get into office. I'm sure he will. Well, I'm not too sure, but hopefully he wins the next election, gets into the office, gets into office and immediately cuts some taxes and starts to build some of these dirt cheap, affordable homes so that Canadians like you and I can have some goddamn hope. Because it's tough right now. I think we all know that. And, you know, the, to most of you watching, I mean, it's no surprise that most people are losing hope. And that's why a lot of Canadians are angry right now. And you should be. This is bullshit. But we just gotta, you know, continue to count the days on the calendar, and you know, just understand that it's very, very likely that Pierre Polyev is going to be the next PM, and that we can finally start having some changes. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. When he says dirt cheap houses, do you actually believe him? Do you think he's going to believe the uh, build these hundred and fifty to a hundred thousand dollar, you know, condos or? you know, houses that people can start families in? Or do you think he's lying? Or do you think he's got a completely different plan and that he's just pandering to voters? I always like reading your guys' comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to just hit the like button when you're watching this video. I really, really appreciate it as it helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with another video.